Hello, good morning everyone from here in Japan and uh, good evening, good noches there in beautiful Manila. <laughs> Hello and welcome to our 11th edition of the Miss, Inter Miss International Live and our special guest for today is the very lovely Miss International Uruguay, Bettina Margni. Thank you, thank you so much. Hello Bettina. Um, first, I just want to greet our um, viewers out there and inform them that this is actually very historical for all of us because it has been more than 20 years since we last had a delegate from Uruguay at the Miss International Beauty Pageant. And we're happy to have Uruguay back on the 60th edition of Miss International. And we are, couldn't be more proud and happy by having this lovely delegate, um, Miss Bettina Margni, who has a very interesting story. So yes. Go on, Bettina. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm very happy and very emotional for this year. For staying here. Sorry for my English. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm. It's a big honor, not only for me, uh, but um, the new generation in Uruguay. You know. Um, it's a great opportunity to show my country culture. It's it's wonderful because um, a lot of people probably do not know, but this is not actually the first time that you have um, connected with the Miss International Organization. Because I remember last year you already had participated in an event sponsored by Jetro, which was a um, an exhibit in Montevideo and you were there, it was the the Jetro um, sponsored activity. So even though you were not able to come to Japan um, last year, oh, by the way, guys, before I forget, um, Bettina was supposed to compete in Miss International last year, but for some reason she wasn't able to come, but you know, there's not really a big deal for that one, but she's coming on the 60th edition. So here we are, okay, right now with, um, with Bettina. Um, so, uh, let's uh, get this ongoing because you have a very, very interesting story. And that's the part that I wanted to to, to discuss and I want to share to a lot of people. Um, here we have Miss International Uruguay actually was born in this beautiful town called Dolores Soriano. And interestingly, until she was 14 years old, she lived in the countryside without electricity no electricity how life living without electricity now this we have yes. we have we have internet we have wi-fi we have, <laughs> we have the technology yes, but you know you know you know freezer <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no refrigerators no what? tv no no freezer no refrigerator no tv mm. So what were you doing back then when you were when you were growing up? Did you play in the river or play in the mountains? Sorry, can you repeat, please? Oh, I'm sorry, because guys, we have a little bit of interruption out here. We have this, yes. I think you can, you can hear some of the sound, but I'll, I'll say it slowly. Um, when you were young, when, when you were living in the countryside in Uruguay with no electricity, what were the things that you were doing? Like, what kinds of games do you play? Do you do you just go out, swim in the river, or oh, yes. how uh, grown? I I play with the animals. <laughs> um. um and the fashion, I imagine oh. the fashion with that's nice. Dress, um, you know, a, a lot of kids in the countryside they just love improvising things. You know, um, wearing different <laughs> clothes by their grandmother or your sisters or your, um, and uh, well, I, I just wanna share one photo out here um, that we have. Um, hopefully people will be able to see it. This one. Yes. 
Is Can you see that church. one? Yeah, that's the church. It is uh, called the Iglesia Nuestra Señora de los Dolores. Yes. It's a beautiful church. It's um, it. The reason here's the reason why I actually chose this because it looks almost the same as the church that I have in my hometown in the Philippines. It the 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 two yes. tower. It's a Catholic church, and uh, yes. it's very. It looks so familiar that it reminded me of my hometown as well. So even though Uruguay is on the other side of the world and my hometown is in the Philippines, I saw the similarity of the church in in the Philippines and in your country, um, Uruguay. Um, Uruguay is very, very interesting because this is just a very small country. It's small, but you have a very good reputation as far as um, your economy is concerned and uh, your um, education and um, human development index. However, um, going back to, to you, you actually, like we said, you went into, you grew up in a hometown with no electricity, but when you are 19, you can have it you moved to Montevideo and you studied in the capital city and you got uh, your diploma in, oh no, I'm sorry, you received your license as a swimming and artistic gymnastics coach at the IUACJ Physical Education Faculty in the, which is a Christian Youth Association while you were studying. And here's the thing, a lot of people I don't know this, but you became a, you joined a reality show, a modeling yes. reality show. Can you, can you please tell us about, show. yeah, tell us about this Maybe talent show that you won. Yes, the first fashion reality show, the TV Uruguay. It's the Maybelline, I'm sorry. It was the Maybelline Models uh, Maybelline show, which was, on, and you were the winner. On channel four. In Channel 4. You, you were the winner that, yes. in that competition. So, yes. um, yeah. so that started I'm, I'm, your, that started your um, modeling career. Well, modeling work has opened many doors for me. Uh, our experience have made him a better person and professional. You know. And also, aside from that, you also had the opportunity to open your own um, business, which is called the Fitzroy. Oh yes. Uh, well, I have a store in my city called Fitzroy Galleria. Uh, I'll say I sell accessories, wallets, backpacks, uh, makeup um, for women and for for men. Um, oh, I do free shipping to the world country. Oh, it's for it's mostly for tropical countries like. Um, yes. That's great. That's the uh, so it's originally from from Uruguay, like it's made in Uruguay. I'm sorry. Oh, yes, yes. You're made in Uruguay, and you sell it to other countries like uh, where, like Brazil, for example. Do you sell it in Brazil? Do you sell it in? Uh, we have borders with Brazil and Argentina. So that's where you are sending, that's where you are selling your products. Yes. Okay, wow. Um, in, guys, in case you do not know, um, Uruguay is actually, it's a small country, but it's very near Argentina and uh, very near um, 
uh, Brazil as well. Um, as a matter of fact, the hometown of uh, Bettina, which is Dolores Soriano, is closer to Buenos Aires than it is closer to Montevideo. Yes, you know, uh, Dolores is a small city in the department of Soriano. Mm -hmm. uh, the capital of Soriano is Mercedes. Mm -hmm. um, it was a very big change in going to Montevideo city, the capital. Mm. Uh, I didn't, I didn't know how to take the bus. I, I lost. <laughs> yes. I know it must be really difficult to actually adjust from a very small town and then you move into this really very big city. Um, I'll show one. Here, I'll show one one photo here of the capital city. Here, the capital city. Uh, in total, only three million. In wow, Dolores, that's a lot of people. Montevideo, Uruguay is a very interesting um, capital city. It's beautiful. It looks tropical, but uh, at the same time, it looks a very what do you call it? Yes. Um, a bit European, but Tropical European, which is which is unique. <laughs> this is uh, um, the place in Tendence, uh -huh. and this one um, in the middle is the Palacio Salvo. The Palace Salvo. Is that where the president, the president of your country, live? No, no, no. No. No, no, no. Yeah. Um, he lives uh, persons is on apartments. Ah, okay. This this is really a very beautiful photo that I was able to capture somewhere. Um, now, anyway, before we proceed further, I just want to um, share some of the comments we have in here um, from our readers and our viewers. Let's begin. Oh, once again, welcome back. Maritza Latis, Miss USA, saying hello to everyone. Hi, Maritza. Hello, Maritza. <laughs> Thank you so much for always being a part of our show. Maritza, you're lovely. We have Daniel Valentin Mora. Go Uruguay. She's the next queen. Oh, thank you so much. Muchas gracias, Daniel. And uh, we have Butita saying good morning. Yes. Buenos dias. Good morning, and Japan. And good evening, Uruguay. We have another one here. Jesus Lito Antimano. Love from the next Miss International. Thank you so much. Wow. It's a big oh. honor. We're happy a lot of comments now. Um, Rotairo Ron says, wow, so pretty. Yes, you are. Very, you're very pretty, actually. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Those you so eyes, much. you know. What's the color? What's the color of your eyes? Is it blue or is it light gray? It's blue. In the flight, is, you know. Ah, it's reflecting on your... Um, your... Um, green for Miss International. Okay. <laughs> Patani. Patani. Hi. Says good morning, Queen. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> I actually, that's also one of the reasons why I tried to wear something blue today because I said, okay, this is Miss Uruguay. Maybe I should wear something a little bit blue. <laughs> and Yellow Asis also says, hi, Queen. Thank you so much for the comments, guys. If you have any questions, we would be very glad to answer some of your questions. And, uh, well, of course, our dear queen here will be answering the question. If you have questions in Spanish or Espanol, um, of course, she will answer in Spanish. It's okay. It's totally okay. 
Now, let's uh, go back again to our to our discussion because uh, we still have so many interesting things here that we could actually share to the audience around here. Um, okay, here there we go. So, well, we have here. Um, we we. We have so many, uh, we have already interviewed 10 girls um, in the MI Live, and I just want to remind everyone once again, guys, um, this is not a, this is not a pre-judging, we are not judging the girls here, this is the, and this is not an English speaking competition as well, we're just trying to get to know a little bit better our, our delegates and uh, Yes, and we will be answering some of your questions so that we can actually um, get this going. There is a question here, Sang Hoan Vu Blogger. What is your favorite Uruguayan food that you would recommend to everyone that travel there in Uruguay? Oh, yes. The food, uh, I Torta fritas? No. And the beaches, uh, beaches in uh, Punta del Este is uh -huh. very conocido in the, in the world. What's the name of the food again? Like fritas, something fritas, what is it? Yes, tata fritas. <laughs> tata, tata, tata fritas. <laughs> yes. Maybe you should check. Well, what is that Uruguayan tata, food? Tata. Is that is a, is a typical um, of Uruguay? It's a typical Uruguayan fruit. Um, yes. Tortas fritas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can try. You can try. Tortas fritas. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, it looks like a pancake or some sort. Maybe. Yes. I hope we share this one. But anyway, here, here's another question. Let's try, let's try to answer this one. Daniel Valentin Mora, here's a very good question again. Um, what would you like people to know about Uruguay? Que te gustaría que la gente supiera sobre Uruguay? Look, uh, I, lo puedo decir en español. En español, en español. Yes. Uh, okay. Eh, me gustaría que mi mensaje eh, me gustaría saber que, que las demás personas eh, contagiar a las demás personas que, que sí se puede lograr los sueños a pesar de los obstáculos que tengamos y contagiar eh, a la juventud a la juventud eh, este proyecto y bueno además eh, Eh, soy embajadora de la protectora de animales Dolores de mi ciudad natal y me gustaría llevar este mensaje al mundo que, adop que adoptemos eh, animales en situación de calle y no compremos. Eh, de esta organización eh, eh, trabaja muy duro para, para, para esto. Y, y que no solo es tener un animal, sino tener conciencia eh, de, de vacunarlo, de castrarlo y de todas las responsabilidades que, que conlleva. Thank you so much. No. I'm sorry. Like, I um, can you hear me now? Sorry, um, yeah. guys. Um, in case you don't know, like, um, Miss Uruguay here actually has the passion and she loves to um, contribute into the society by helping you know people and animals on the streets and. Uh, 
yep, like the, the, that is your biggest uh, passion. Um, now let's let's go. Let's the people and um, um, animals. Animals on the street, like uh, homeless animals, homeless um, individuals. There's another question we have here from Patina. Hi, Patina. Just in your opinion, do you Hi. think that beauty queens are still relevant today? Hmm. How do you how can you say this in Spanish? Bueno, es muy relevante para, como lo nombraba anteriormente, no solo para mí, sino para las futuras generaciones que puedan representar a mi país y dar lo mejor de sí. Nosotros somos un pequeño país, pero con un corazón gigante y queremos alzar la voz en, en este certamen tan prestigioso y que para mí es un sueño que se está haciendo realidad. Así que estoy muy agradecida a la organización, a Stephen, por, por esta oportunidad. Y bueno, agradecida totalmente. Thank you. See, we could do this. <laughs> so, Jill Asis, thank you so much for reminding me that we are on mute. Yeah, I was on mute a while ago. Sorry, guys, for the inconvenience. But anyway, um, we've been talking for more than 20 minutes right now, and uh, we, our time limit is just around 15 minutes, but we are over time. But still, guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank for you, your, Patani. Thank you, Patani, for your question. Thank you, everyone. But we don't have time anymore. So once again, please do support our Miss International Uruguay. Bettina Margni here, who is our guest. And also, please don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts. Don't forget to follow us on our Instagram, our Twitter, and our Facebook account, of course, and also do follow us on our YouTube channel because we are now more active than ever. Thank you very much, Bettina. Muchas gracias. Thank you to all the fans to Thank share you. your questions, you. your comments. Nice to meet you. Have. you too. And see you later in Japan. Yes, see you here in Japan. We are very excited to have Uruguay back into our beauty pageant. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a very nice Saturday. Have a very nice Sunday if you live in this side of the world. Thank you and goodbye, guys. Okay, thank you. Bye, bye, bye.